In recent weeks, we've heard a lot of experts discussing the benefits of double masking. And today, the CDC officially weighed in after new research found it does make a significant difference, at least in laboratory tests. Dr. Frank George here to explain this updated guidance. Doc? Yeah, Kim and Devin. So the CDC tested two different mask modifications. The first was simply putting a three-layer cloth mask over a surgical mask. The other was something called knotting and tucking, where you knot the ear loops of a surgical mask, mask and tuck in the excess material to reduce the gaps on the side of your face. Both of these modifications did significantly improve the level of protection. New data released from CDC today underscore the importance of wearing a mask correctly and making sure it fits closely and snugly over your nose and mouth. CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky discussed new research designed to evaluate different strategies to improve masks' ability to block particles. In the breathing experiment, having both the source and the receiver wear masks modified to fit better reduce the receiver's exposure by more than 95 percent. The problem is that gap where the mask meets the face. Putting a cloth mask over the surgical mask and nodding and tucking the mask both boosted the protection. Based on this new information, the CDC is updating the mask information for the public on the CDC website to provide new options on how to improve mask fit. Those include wearing a mask with a moldable nose wire or wearing a cloth mask over a surgical mask. There are also new options available to consumers called mask fitters, small reusable devices that cinch a cloth or medical mask and that can create a tighter fit against the face and thus improve mask performance. The bottom line is this, masks work and they work best when they have a good fit and are worn correctly. Now, it really comes down to fit and layers. More layers are better, and your mask needs to fit tightly. If your mask is constantly slipping off your nose or requiring you to adjust it, it just doesn't fit right as well. Now, a fitting mask is not only much more comfortable, it actually also protects you more and it protects others more. Uh, Doc, one of the, the mysteries I think that remains out there for a lot of people thinking about the vaccine is that of pregnant women, and I know that came up today at the briefing. Yeah, Dr. Fauci actually says so far about 20,000 pregnant women have received the COVID vaccines and there have not been any red flags. The CDC and the FDA continue to monitor that situation and the guidance is still that pregnant women should talk to their own doctor about their personal risks and yeah. benefits. 20,000 is starting to get to be a pretty sizable test group. All right, Doc.